Hey you guys, it's the Sagittarian Goddess. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope you join the community here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me once again. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are prosperous and you're having a wonderful day. I just want to take the time out to to thank Spirit for these beautiful messages that we are about to receive. I hope you guys like my beautiful backdrop. It is nice and pink, perfect for love and romance. And then I also have my I have my rose quartz crystal right here. I've had her for a few years now. You may as well say she is a part of my family. <laughs> How are you all doing? How are you all doing today? Sag gang, how are you? Sagittarius, you have really been on to something. You have been making major changes in your life. And I'm getting that it is internal. But your external environment has played a major role. In these changes, Sagittarius. This is the Sagittarian goddess. Mother of Earth. Yes, your external world has played a major role in these changes. Beautiful. Sagittarius, you have the Mother of Earth. When it comes to the Mother of Earth, this is a very mature energy. This means that you are really focused on maintaining your environment, having stability in, in the things that are around you. This, this sustains your lifestyle. That is really good, Sagittarius. It looks like you are focused on maintaining your lifestyle, increasing your income is what I'm getting here. You're thinking about things long term. And you could be connected to an earth sign as well. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I see you being very serious about your stability, Sagittarius. Very serious and very focused. And I see you being comfortable as well. You're, focused, you're focusing on your comfort. Not necessarily your comfort zone. But your comfort, your overall comfort is what I'm getting here. Your peace is what I'm getting. The hermit, yeah. In the past, you could not have had a lot of peace, you know, in your personal life is what I'm saying here. Your external environment could have been just fine, but your internal environment has not. And it looks like you have done work on your, on your inner self. And now that you've done this work on your inner self, you're focusing on your external you want everything to match up. You want to be comfortable through and through. That's what I'm getting here. Wow, with this Hermit card. This is a Virgo card as well. Lots of Earth coming out for you. So I'm, I'm getting that your surroundings is playing a, a major part in, 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 your, in your drive right now. I see you looking back and thinking about the things that you didn't have or, you know, your lack here. But I'm, I'm getting that you're focusing on maintaining those things now and getting those things. Father of Water. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Sagittarius. You coming out with the Father of Water here. This is your center of attention, Sagittarius. <laughs> wow, Sagittarius. You have Father of Water in your center of attention. That is very beautiful, Sagittarius, because it looks like you are not only focusing on on maintaining your, your external world and the physical, the practical things, but also your emotions here. You have you have come such a very long way, it looks like. It looks like you you are really trying to maintain your peace, and your peace comes first, is what I'm hearing here. In the past, it could not have come first. You could have been more focused, more focused on the external here, not not really the internal. It's like you didn't you didn't have you didn't have um, control over your internal over your emotions here in the past. Because I see you looking back, and you could have kept looking back. You know, asking asking the universe why is what I'm getting. Like now, your whys are why nots. 
I'm getting here. That's very powerful, Sagittarius. Your whys are now why nots. Because whatever you go through, Sagittarius, you're realizing that it is pushing you forward. Yes, it's pushing you forward. You have defeat here. And it looks like you have faced a lot of a lot of disappointment in your life. A lot of a lot of discouraging moments here. And in the past, you you let these things get in the way of you moving forward. And you're not doing that anymore. You're you're looking defeat right in his face. You're you, you don't you don't mind this because you you realize that it is a part of the process here. Very mature energy coming out for you, Sagittarius. Oppression. This is your card. Yes. Yes, Sagittarius. This is very beautiful. This is very beautiful. This is your card. It's like you're not you're not allowing yourself to be caged by your own fear. Like you you spent your life in a whole lot of fear here in the past. Lots of fear that that held you back. That is why you couldn't reach your full potential when you felt like you you could have or you should have because you were caged and you were allowing you were allowing yourself to be drove by fear. Wow, Sagittarius. Son of water. Yes, you could have a son. You could be thinking about your son, mother or father here. Because you have this whole family here. You have the son of water and father of water. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Sagittarius. You could definitely have a son or you could be connected to a water sign here as well. Earth and water. Could have earth and water in your chart as well. I see you were very immature. I see you looking back at yourself in the past and realizing how immature you were you were emotionally. You were naive. You really didn't understand how to handle your emotions. I'm getting you could have had a lot of emotional trauma growing up as a child. You could be a son, daughter. You had a lot of emotional trauma going up as a child. This could be connected to your mother, you know. This emotional trauma could be connected to your mother or the or a feminine energy in your life. I'm getting that a, a masculine energy could have inspired you to to really take hold of your emotions here with this father of water. Wow, Sagittarius. Exploration, most definitely. I see you exploring the past. I see you looking at the past and examining and examining the past here. That is really beautiful, Sagittarius. That you <clears throat> that you have taken the time out to to look at your past and look at your own uh, path, the path in which you've traveled here. You are making better decisions going forward because of this beautiful Sagittarius, because you've explored yourself is what I'm getting you. You've explored your past. You've done some shadow work here, it looks like with this hermit with exploration underneath hermit underneath the hermit. You have examined the path in which you've taken in the physical. Yes, with this Aries card. You were very passionate, though. And you realized that your passion, you know, led you into some places that you didn't necessarily want to be. And you had to have a balance uh, with your passion here. You had to take control over those emotions. Passion is emotion. And you had to take control over that with this father of water here in your center of attention. Beautiful. Bravery. Yeah, you're moving forward and you're looking defeat right in his eyes. You're 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 very brave moving forward. It's like nothing nothing scares you now. Like nothing scares you. There's very little that scare that scare you, Sagittarius. You have Aries Leo energy. Yes. Lots of fire here in your center of attention. And I see you being brave when it comes to love or or when it comes to friendship or connecting with others. You just beginning to be brave. I'm I'm getting that you could have not felt that you fit in in the past. And now you're not worried about fitting in. You're worried about being yourself. You're concerned with being yourself only here. And this makes you very brave when it comes to your connections. You know, this this maturity in your emotions has a lot to do with your the connections that you have in your life. Wow, Sagittarius. Stability. Yeah. You're focusing on your stability through and through. Your physical, your mental, your emotional, all of that. You are focusing on those things. You didn't have that in the past. You had a lot of chaotic moments in the past regarding your emotions. Regarding your emotions here. Your emotions led you into a lot of bad places here. That's what I'm getting. Had you feeling trapped 
you know you have this whale here in this cage here just have you had you feeling trapped had you feeling stuck had you feeling very depressed that is the word that is the word had you feeling very depressed and sad and you know isolation is what i'm getting here you may be isolating yourself away from others here detaching yourself away from others now you're learning to connect with others is what i'm getting here sagittarius wow this is beautiful this is beautiful. The Ace of Earth. Yes, you, you are becoming very stable, Sagittarius, in your energy here. This is Sagittarius card. You are becoming very stable in your energy, Sagittarius. You want your physical and your emotions to match. You want stability through and through. That is very beautiful, Sagittarius. Congratulations on this newfound stability that you are after, Sag. Sagittarius, this is the Sagittarian goddess. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to this beautiful reading. I wish you the best of luck on this journey. I will see you all in the next reading.